Happy Sunday, Wholesale 2 Million family. What up? We're back with another subscriber first wholesale deal interview. And today, I'm getting one of the girls to represent all the girls, all the ladies, and all the women out there, showing them how it's done. So she just got her first deal. This one is a little, little different. It came off of an email. I'm going to have her share with you guys the whole stories, how she got the deal, how she found the buyers, and how she's able to close her first deal and made 4K, 4K on it. So you guys, if you guys do like this, please show my guests some love, smash the thumbs up, comment below with any question you have. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, come on, man. Let's hit me up on Instagram at Kong, K-H-A-N-G dot like a period, W-T-M. And you guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Come on, man, help me get 100,000 subscribers, so smash that subscribe button. But put your hand together and your thumbs. Help me welcome Kaylin from Sacramento, California. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, Kaylin, how's your day going? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're so polite. No, thank you so much for taking your precious time and jump on and do this. And the reason why we do this, you guys, is to help inspire and motivate you and let you guys know that you too can do it. Please believe that this business is real, that it is possible, that you too can make this happen and turn your life around with wholesaling houses. Yes. So, Kaylin, why don't you start off sharing with everybody your stories? I would love to hear your stories and then we'll lead into your first wholesale deal. Well, I'm um, 20 years old. I'm originally from Oakland, California. And um, I graduated high school in 2016. Um, I've always been into sales. I've always had like retail jobs. I worked at Aldo, um, Sheik's Shoes, American Eagle, all type of different um, retail jobs. And um, I've always done hair as well. So I have a little bit of um, entrepreneurial background. And um, so I'm used to, you know, handing out business cards, meeting with different people, speaking with different people. So I'm, I'm really a people person. Um, and I had a salon suite um, in Fremont and I was working there for a while um, until I moved to Sacramento and it just became too much of a distance um, as far as driving for me. It was like a two hour drive and I would work almost every day. So I'm like, what can I do while I'm at home um, in Sacramento while I'm not at work, you know, so that I can make some extra money. So I started to look up um, real estate because I wanted to become a, an agent, a real estate agent. And I was going to um, go to school. I had planned on starting school in January a couple of, um, I mean, a month ago. And um, things just didn't work out. I didn't, I, I just, I just was like, I don't know if I want to start a uh, school and, you know, become a real estate agent. So I'm like looking deeper into real estate on YouTube and trying to figure out if there's any other options that I can, um, you know, do. And so I came across wholesaling real estate just literally by looking on YouTube. And, um, and I feel like it was just a gift from God, you know, because I, I, I knew nothing about this at first, literally. And, um, and yeah, that's how it all started. I mean, I just started looking at a lot of YouTube videos, getting very inspired by um, other entrepreneurs. And um, yeah, I started from there. I just got on Facebook. I already had an, um, an existing Facebook account. Just got on Facebook and then started adding a whole lot of different real estate groups and just joining and asking if they can help me and introducing myself to people, messaging people on Facebook and just reaching out to people, networking. And then, yeah. Oh, Caitlin, I, I love the massive action that you're taking. So my question for you, Caitlin, is when did you, when did you initially start looking into real estate? Um, it was about a month ago. Wow. One month ago. And yeah. let me ask you, which, what, who's the first video that you came across? The, the first video that I came across was by Dominique Royal. I don't know okay. if you know who that is. But, I don't. Um, yeah, um, Dominique Royal. Um, and then I just started branching out and looking at, you know, bigger YouTubers. Um, Max Maxwell was another person who I looked at. Grant Cardone is another person who I look at. You are another person who I look at. <laughs> very, very inspirational. Um, yeah, uh, Jalen White. That's another guy who I'm really um, interested in um, because he's very young. Him and his yep. group of friends. Yeah, they're very young. 
So I'm very inspired by um, by this by this business. There's a lot of young people doing it, and I'm just surprised that it's not many more young people doing it. Mm. So, gotcha. Yeah. So now, Kaylin, I know you mentioned you're 20, which is super inspiring. I mean, at the age of 20, instead of you know mm-hmm. going out there partying, having fun, <laughs> drinking, vacationing, you decided you took in the entrepreneur route. Um, yeah. You know, to try and create your own future, build your own empire. I love it. So now my question for you now is that you graduated, did, did you graduate from, from high school? Yep. I graduated from high school in 2016. Okay. Are you going to college? No. So I, I planned on going to college because I wanted to um, take up some business classes and I wanted to take up some real estate classes. But then once I came across wholesaling real estate, I'm like, well, why would I go to school? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, I like the way you think already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, why would I go to school? Let me just study this. So literally day in and day out, like I would wake up at 6 30 in the morning because my boyfriend, he has to uh, be at work very early. So I will wake up with him 6 30 in the morning from 6 30 until like two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, I would just be studying wholesale uh, real estate, studying as many videos as I could, just trying to get as much information as I can um, on wholesaling to make sure that that's something that I wanted to pursue. Um, So I definitely think it's something that I want to pursue, especially after landing my first deal. I mean, it was pretty quick. So yeah, within one month. That's awesome. Now, um, Kaylin, I I really want to dive into your, to your situation right now. Um, kind of where you're at in your life. And the reason why I want to do that is because, you know, uh, people get inspired by your journey, right? There's a lot Definitely. of people that, that, you know what I mean? And I think yeah. it, it could help really inspire the younger people um, to let them know that it's not where they're at that's matter, you know, mm-hmm. but they can start anywhere. So right now you're renting or, 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 or like where you're at. So, right so, so my story is pretty crazy. So um, I grew up um, a, a single, uh, only child, um, I, my mom, she's a single mother. My dad is in and out of my life. Um, we went through some troubles, me and my mom. We got evicted when I was in high school. So that led me to staying with my grandmother. And I lived with my grandmother for about three years. But you know how old people are. You kind of age out of their home. You know what I mean? Like when it comes yeah. to like the black community and everything, it's like at a certain age, you have to be out. So um, me and my grandmother started getting into it a lot. I ended up moving out and I was homeless for a while. I was like sleeping from um, couch to couch. At one point I was living in my car. Thank God I had a car to even stay in. But um, at one point I was living from couch to couch in my car. And then all of a sudden um, I moved to Sacramento with my um, family, um, one of my cousins, and they helped me get an apartment in Sacramento of my own. And so um, they just referred me over to an apartment that, that that they used to stay in and I applied and I got in, thank God. And now I'm here, I'm renting. I live with my boyfriend. Um, like I said, me and my mom went through things uh, in high school. So she's here with me now. And yeah, I'm just trying to take care of those around me and hopefully, you know, become something of myself because a lot of the people who I've been around, I haven't really, you know, been able to be influenced by. So just trying to find people who I can be influenced by and, um, yeah, just stay dedicated. Kaylin, man, my gosh. Hey, thank you so much for being transparent and open up and share that. That's, that's awesome. Wow. Um, yeah. just, just, just from your stories, I mean, I'm already inspired by it, you know, being how young you are, go going through whatever you have to go through and had a mindset of want to be successful. Respect. R-E-S-P-E-T. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. So, Kaylin, let's jump into your first wholesale deal. So, I want to know it. So, how did you land the seller and all that? Let's talk about it. Okay, so it was funny how this happened because, like I said, I just added a lot of random Facebook groups at first. And I came across this guy on Facebook, and he looked very, very professional. So, I I emailed, I mean, I messaged him through Facebook, and I just asked him um, if he could give me any advice since I was new. And he was just like, I'll refer you over to a mentor who helped me. So, I said, okay. And he referred me over to that guy. I messaged the other guy on Facebook. And so 
um, he got on the phone with me. We were talking and he was just telling me about wholesaling and telling me what I could accomplish. And, you know, but at the end of the conversation, he wanted to sell me his $5,000 course and I'm broke. I don't have any money. I mean, I, you know, I'm paying bills here at my place and everything. And so I'm like, I don't have any money. I'm just starting. And so, um, and like I said, I haven't been to work um, in Fremont to my salon suite in like two months. So um, I'm like dead broke. And so I'm like, I don't have $5,000 to like give you or whatever, just to learn how to do this. And so then he's just like, okay, well basically call me back whenever you have the five grand. I'm like, okay, cool. So two weeks later, I'm still on Facebook, still watching the videos and still just deep into it. Two weeks later, I get a random email and I've always been getting these random emails, like ever since I had um, set up my Facebook and, you know, uh, put in my email on different websites to receive, you know, properties and stuff from different people. And so I've just been getting a lot of different um, properties into my email. And so then this one came into my email and it was in Richmond, California. And so, um, this guy, he just sent me a, a, you know, a layout with the ARV, the repairs, the pictures of the house, the address and everything. And he's just like, I need a buyer for this. So I'm like, hmm, like I have been talking to a couple of people on Facebook. Let me just see if anybody would be interested in this property. So I literally just sent it straight over to the guy who wanted to sell me his $5,000 course. I sent it straight over to him. And I'm just like, here, look at this. But I'm not really knowing what to look for when looking at a deal. I'm not knowing, you know, like if, you know, I'm not knowing what to look for, if it's um, a good deal, if it's not a good deal, I didn't know what to look for. So I just sent it straight over to him right away. Um, and then he looked at it and he was like, I'll take it. And I'm just like, wow. Like, and I thought it was like a, a luck type of thing, because like I said, I didn't really know what I was doing when I did send it over to him. And I didn't really know what to look for or point out or anything. But at the same time, I know throughout this whole time, like I've just been praying a lot. Um, I've just been talking to God a lot wherever I am. If, if, if it's me sitting on the toilet, if it's me in the shower, I'm literally just like asking. <clears throat> Kaylin, I think you got cut out. I can't hear you and I cannot see you. So the thing is, you guys, I, um, I'm going to wait until Kaylin here jump on, but I want you guys to understand something here. It's not just all luck. You guys got to understand, Kaylin did put in the work, all right? She put in the work. She put herself out there. She's taking massive actions. She's joined multiple groups. So she's taking action. The word is action, okay? That's the key word. I don't want you guys to get mixed up here and start praying and doing nothing, and all of a sudden, all this deal is going to fall into your lap. It's not how it works, okay? Caitlin was putting herself out there. She was taking massive actions. She was networking with people. Oh, gosh, we lost her. So hopefully she'll jump back on again here. So hold on a second. Let me shoot her. <laughs> well, we never had this happen before, but uh, you know what? Um, it does happen. So let me wait until she gets jump on. Hold on a second. Let me DM her really quick here. Uh, okay, we lost you. Can you jump back on? So the thing, you guys, so that's why I want you guys to understand is, is that, you know, it's when you put yourself out there, when you get, when you taking actions, things are starting to happen and things are starting to, you know, like, like basically pieces is going to come together, right? Pieces is going to come together. So that way you can form, so that way you can finish your puzzle. All right. But if you don't take action, if Caitlin didn't take action and putting herself out there, I don't want you guys to get confused and get mixed up here. All right. Yes, there, ha there is a little bit luck with it. But, 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 but do you understand what I'm trying to say? She can't just sit back, being in her sofa, being in her, you know, on her couch and start praying and all of a sudden the deals falls apart. No, she puts herself out there. So I want you guys to know that. Okay. Um, so let's wait until Caitlin gets on. So I, I don't even know her story. So let me see here. I might, um, <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Cause we can't end this. Um, so hold on a second. Let me, let me see here. Um, just wait until she jumps back on. Uh, but for those of you who's recently discovered wholesaling, who's starting to get into wholesaling and wanted to know like, what's the next step? What's the first step that you should do and how are you going to get started? Right? 
And uh, well, first of all, like I always, I always say it first, you have to believe that this business is possible. So what I mean by that is if you don't believe that people are making money out there wholesaling houses, right? If you don't believe that the business is possible, guess what you're going to do? You're going to push it away. You're not going to dive into it, trying to figure out how you can do it, right? Because if you don't believe it, then why do you keep on looking, you know, trying to dig into, trying to investigate, right? And then second is that you have to believe that you can do it. I don't care if it's zero, 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 zero point one percent, but you have to believe that you too can do this, that you can make this happen. I don't care where you're at, what situation, what circumstances you're in right now, but you have to believe that you can do it. I don't care if you're sleeping on a couch. I don't care if you're sleeping in your car. I don't care if you're homeless. As you guys can see, Caitlin, like if she can do it, if I can do it, if there's other people out there like that's even in worse situations, that can do it. You got to you got to believe that you too can. All right, because what that does is that belief is going to lead you into taking the third step, and that is just taking action. Take massive action. All right, whatever that is, you got to take actions. All right, you know, um, signing up and and going to your first uh, uh, local Mia. Uh, local Ria, not me. <laughs> local Ria, you know. Open up a uh, open up a couple of Facebook page and start joining them. Right. Start surrounding yourself with people that are doing the same thing, doing the same business. Okay. Um, but if you really want to get down to the technical stuff, is that you you got to pick a market. All right. You got to make okay. And then you obviously you got to make the commitment. Make the commitment. Believe that this is not a get rich quick. This is not an overnight success. Woo, Kaylin, you're back. I was trying to cover. I was trying to talk, talk, talk to cover the space. Kaylin, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Kaylin, you probably need to turn your mic on because I can't hear you. Yep, I still can't. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Yep, now. yep. I, I, I can hear you now. Okay, Kaylin. I'll let you take sorry it over. That. So let's finish it. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, no yeah, worries. So, it happens. Yeah, so pretty much just staying spiritual, you know, um, praying a lot, just making sure that I'm asking for the right things when I pray. You know, I'm not asking for material things, not asking for money, just really asking for knowledge, asking for, you know, good people to come into my life. Just making sure that when I pray, I ask for the right things. So I feel like that really took me a long way. And now I'm here. I mean, trying to learn more, you know, so. Gotcha. Awesome. Congrats. So, um, Kayla, I'm going to break down your deal a little bit here yeah. um, just to help people understand it better. Okay. So this, this lead here. So is this lead coming from another wholesaler or is it coming from directly from a seller? It's coming from another wholesaler. Okay. Who had it you, under contract. I got you. Okay. So another wholesaler. Okay. Do you mind sharing with people? Kaylin, you're out again. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Here. You're back. <laughs> so Kaylin, do you mind sharing with people? What are some Facebook group that you join and which Facebook group that you, that, that, that you got the steel from? Um, so steel sharpens steel is one. Um, my mentor, his name is Curtis Johnson. He's a really good mentor. It's uh steel sharpens steel. And um, I'm into acquisitions, JV deals, and wholesale deals. Um, Jimmy is a part of that group. He runs that group. Um, I'm a part of uh, Bay Area Real Estate Wholesale. Just a lot of them. It's, it's numerous ones that I just added randomly. But once you type in one or two, um, more of them will pop up and you're able to just add them. I just click them randomly, literally. Gotcha. Okay. So, this, so do you know which, which Facebook group that this, this lead is coming from? Um, I think this Facebook, this group, I mean, this lead came from, um, still sharp and still, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so my, my boy, Curtis Johnson, um, Johnson. Yeah. Curtis Johnson. He's, um, he's running that Facebook group right now. So yeah, I believe it came from there. Okay, gotcha. So basically, this deal is coming from another wholesaler. So technically, this is a co-wholesale deal. Um, do you know? Do you know anything about the property, Kaylin? Yeah. So can you hear me? Even though I click out real quick. Yep, I can hear you. Okay, because I, I want to go to my um, my notes here. So sure, no um, problem. 
So it was in Richmond. Um, it was a two bedroom, one bathroom, 760 square feet. The rent rate was $2,100. Um, the repairs was $20,000. The, um, the after repair value is $370,000. And the asking price was $285,000. Okay, two, so two eighty five. That's the that's the purchase. So that's already including in the assignment fee, right? Yeah, that was including his assignment fee. Okay. So the the thing about this one is, I think I made a mistake because I didn't really know how to negotiate with the wholesaler, and so I felt like I came off as desperate. So he knew how to like take advantage of me, if that makes sense. But it's okay. Like I'm not a greedy person. I was just like, oh, give me whatever. You know what I mean? It's my first wholesale deal, but it is definitely something to pay attention to. Like learning how to communicate with people, you know, in this business is definitely something to learn and to pay attention to. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's, I mean, you know, you guys got to understand this is the real world. This is the real world. So you got yeah. to build your skill set. You got to negotiate. It's not about, it's not about somebody's taking advantage. It's not about that, but you got to sharpen your skills. You got to know how to negotiate, right? Yeah. And once you agree, it is a fair deal. You can't come back and you know what I mean? Like you can't come back and say, Hey, that person took like, and so, so what Kaylin said, you know, she said she was happy the deal is done, but I want to tell you guys, this is the real world. So there are people out there, like they're, if they're better negotiator and you agree to it, they will use that. Yeah, yep, they will, they use, will that use that. And it's a fair, stuff. it's a fair. Okay. Gotcha. So now let me ask you, Kaylin, do you know, do you know, um, do you know the situation of the seller? Um, no, I don't know the situation of the seller. Um, since it was a JV deal, I didn't really come in contact with the seller at all. Right. Um, but okay, all so I know is the wholesaler, like at the end, I ended up seeing the closing statement. And yeah. when I see what, when I see what that wholesaler made on that assignment fee, I was just like, Oh my <laughs> God, I definitely need to keep doing this. The assignment fee was like 71 K. Holy smoke. 71 G. Yeah. 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 I seen the, um, I seen the closing statement, um, from the title company and it said, cause basically he only gave me a marketing fee. Which is okay. Mm. Like, I understand the the situation. I didn't. It wasn't much work on my end put into it, so I can understand. You know, that's why I wasn't being too, you know, greedy about things or whatever. But yeah, it was seventy one k. So I'm like, I need to take this serious. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Seventy one k. Yeah. Okay. K Kaylin, let me ask you this then. So, what do you learn from this that you said the next time that you'll be better at? I feel like. I want to take in accountability the way I talk to people because I know for a fact that I came off as desperate on the call with the wholesaler because we literally went from $5,000 to $4,000. Like, and I was kind of confused on how or why, you know, why he offered me five and then four. But he was telling me that my buyer was like talking him down on his price and everything. So it's just like, I, I would say not understanding the lingo and not understanding the, <laughs> the process and the flow can definitely like mess you up. Because it's like when you're on the phone with these different people, it's like you have to keep track of all this information. You have to keep, you know, a mental yep. note, you know. So it's just like if you're not really good at retaining information or like if you're new <laughs> and you're, you know, um, it's hard to remember everything. It's just like, it's okay to take your time, you know, stay calm, write things down if you need to, um, in order to, you know, be successful in this business, because that's the number one thing is communication. It's like, you have to understand what people are saying and you have to understand what you're saying. You have to be able to, you know, say the right things to people. You want to come off as professional as well. So absolutely. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So, Kaylin, let me ask you. Let, let me ask you some questions, real quick here. So, when you came in contact with this wholesaler, what did you guys initially talk about as far as how much you were going to get paid if you were to bring a buyer? Um. So we he he just told me I'll give you five thousand dollars. It wasn't like it wasn't like oh let's do a JV split for 50 50 or 60 40 or 70 30 it wasn't a conversation like that it was just i'll give you $5000 if you find a buyer basically and gotcha. i was just like okay so now i definitely know the difference between a marketing fee and like a JV <clears throat> agreement split mm -hmm. like I, I know the difference now so gotcha okay now 
what now? I guess I, I guess maybe you have already a, maybe you have already answered this, Caitlin. But the reason why I want to get into this is, you know, I want you guys to understand that you you too, when you start out, you know, when you first start out, obviously you fresh into the business, and uh, then when people there's people that know more than you, then obviously you know what I mean. That, that, that you might be able to cut yourself short. But so I, yeah. that's why I want to dive in a little bit. So that way, for those of you who can gain some experience from this, um, you know, so that way you can try to, you know, better negotiate yourself and, and get more for yourself. So Kalen, when he said, okay, so I'll pay you $5,000. So I know, I, I know you accept all, all of that, but if you were yeah. have to go and knowing what you know now, how would you put yourself in a better positions? What would um, you have done? I I would have made decisions slower. Like I wouldn't have jumped on the bandwagon right away and said, "Oh, hey, five k, like that sounds great." But to me, that sounded like a million bucks because, like, like I said, I, I do hair, so I would make four k in a month or two months, but not in not after two days of work. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, wow, like this is quick. This just came fast to me. I mean, I just started. Let me just hurry up and take this first deal because he was he was he was basically saying like oh well if I don't use your buyer I have other people interested and it's just like it's like but then I thought about it in my head well if you have other people interested then why are you just you know so solely in contact with me it's like okay well if you're not tripping off of me or my buyer then just go to your own buyer but it's just things that people say in order to like mind play you in order you know in order for you to like hurry up and make quick decisions in order for you to hurry up and like agree to things in order for you to like you know hurry up and um you know just make quick decisions people know what to say you know to get you to do these things so it's just like kind of knowing the finesse game because all it is really is just a finesse game it's just people are just finessing all day like you know what i mean just finessing it's just yep. all about how you speak to people what you say <clears throat> I would have just basically took my time and I would have um, got off the phone call without saying yes right away. You know what I mean? Like I would have done my own due diligence and I would have called people to ask that for their advice. You know what I mean? But I didn't do that. Like I was just like, I heard money and I was like, cool, you know? So Kayla, that was really it. Yeah. You no, know, no. Kayla, awesome. I mean, I want to say congrats within one month in and being able to do that, that is just Oh my God. I mean, to Thank me, you. that is, that is, that is total respect. So now let's get into, um, so you send the email over and then the guy that's trying to charge you for mentoring, mm -hmm. he just said, so did he go out and look at the property or he, did he just accept it? So he was just like, yeah, this looks like it's a good deal based off of the numbers. And so he went out to the property twice. The first time he went to the property, he took his partner um and his partner liked the property as well and then the second time he went out to the property he brought a contractor with him to just make sure um everything with the repairs were just how you know okay and everything like that he made sure everything was okay with the repairs and then yeah that was it um he was getting funding for the place because he planned on fixing it and flipping it so um as far as like waiting on my money to come and be wired to my account and things like that it did take um a minute like it was a delay um the expected wired delivery date was like on the 4th of february but i think it came like a couple of days after that um and it was mainly because the homeowner was like in on vacation and so instead of emailing over his documents to the title company he had like signed them physically and just mailed them in so that was why it had took so long for them to wire me my check but just small things like that that may happen during um you know during that time of closing um you know that may slow down the process of you getting paid gotcha okay so i mean two days for 4k not yeah bad. yeah that's not bad <laughs> yeah so Okay, so the guy came out and looked at the property twice, and then uh, how, how, fast, how fast was the closing? Seven days, um, 10 days, 15 days? Yeah, it was about 10 days. It was about 10 days. Um, like I said, we had to really wait for the homeowner to, um, you know, to get all of his paperwork. And like I said, he mailed it in, so that took a little bit of time. But yeah, it was about 10 days. It was a pretty quick process, I would say. I, I mean, I was very impatient because I was like, okay, well, 
you know, I need this like right now because I was so excited. I wanted to hurry up and go invest more back into wholesaling. You know, I wanted to go buy my laptop because I didn't even have a laptop. I was working all off of my phone. So I just bought me like a new laptop. It comes with like a little, yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to get everything together here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to no get problem. everything together here. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, it was a pretty quick, it was a pretty quick process, about 10 days. And yeah, I just took a lot of my money. I paid bills, of course, and then just invested it into um, my tools. Um, I hired a VA. Um, so I don't know if I did it too quick, but at the same time, I was watching a lot of videos and um, I kept hearing the wholesalers say the one mistake that they made when starting out was that they didn't scale up quicker. And they wasted a lot of money with like um, marketing. So I don't know. I just, I thought that hiring a VA would be cool because then um, we can be knocking out two birds with one stone. So. Gotcha. Okay. So Kaylin, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. And this, this is, a, this is a problem when you look, when you, when you guys are, 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 are when you guys are following too many different people, uh, it's going to be a conflict. So let me ask you a question, Kaylin. Yeah. What does your VA do? What is your, what is the VA is going to do? Um, she's going to be cold calling the leads that I give her, skip tracing them. Um, and then whoever calls back who is interested, she's going to be like just pre-qualifying them, making sure that, um, you know, that they qualify and then bring them over to me so that I can give them an offer basically. Okay. Got it. My question number two is, uh, you, uh, so you have a full-time job, right, Kaylin? No, I don't. Well, I do hair, but it's like whenever I have a client. You know what I mean? I don't have a sure. full-time job or anything. Gotcha. Okay, number three is that how much are you paying your VA? 400 a month. Okay. 400 a month. Yeah. Kaylin, how, how are you training your VA to pick up the calls? Um, what do you mean, how am I training them? Like, uh, so basically I wrote out a, I wrote out a script for them. So I wrote out a script for them. Like I wrote out expectations for them. Um, she's experienced and she, the, the lady who I'm in contact with, she actually has her own team of VAs. So, um, they're pretty experienced. Um, I heard them over the phone. I FaceTimed with them a couple of times. Um, and they sent me over like a, um, like a, a spreadsheet of kind of what their their um, what their services are and what they can provide and help me with, and so um, I just hired them and and um, I I didn't give her many that many leads because we're just you know still starting the um, the process yep. of you know getting to know each other and just getting our systems in place and things like that. But so far she's already gotten uh, one referral and. Um, one lady interested in selling her property um, and she wants us to follow up with her next week. So um, after 190 calls, so, and then all my leads that I'm getting, um, well, so far I've been getting the leads off of REI pro cause they have a, um, they have like a 14 day free trial. And so I'm just, I'm able to pull 10,000 leads from there. And so I'm just going to give her those leads. And then as well as, um, leads, you know, from around my area, passing out business cards, door knocking or driving for dollars or going to the courthouse, stuff like that is, um, all the leads I'm going to be providing to her. So. I see. So now <clears throat> what are you doing then, Kaylin? Right, so I, I know that you were calling back all the appointment, but beside mm -hmm. that, what else are you doing? I'm driving for dollars in my area. Um, so around my area, there's like a lot of vacant properties. Um, and so driving for dollars is one thing. And then I'm going to be dedicating a lot of my time to going to the courthouse because um, I know a lot of other wholesalers may not have time to because of um, whatever situations they're in. But I don't really hear a lot of people going to the courthouse. I don't hear a lot of people pulling leads from the courthouse. So I plan on spending a lot of my time at the courthouse. I plan on spending a lot of my time driving for dollars and um, I plan on spending a lot of my time with passing out my business cards, um, doing a lot of door knocking um, and then cold calling if I have nothing else to do. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So Kaylin, for, um, for, for, for those that are, for those that are starting out and want to get into the business, Okay, for those that are starting out and want to get into the business, and it's just like you when you when we're trying to get your first deal, what 
what are some tips or advice that you can give to them? Um, I would say don't be afraid to ask for help because I feel like a lot of people, you know, are out here trying to do everything by themselves. And I feel like that makes sense, you know, but to a certain extent, you know, it's just like, you can't do everything by yourself. Like a lot of these big companies out here that, um, you know, that are successful have people helping them run their business. So it's like, I feel like, you know, if you have a family member who's able to help you, you know, write out postcards, or if you have a family member that's able to help you cold call or anything like that, I would say, use that to your advantage and try to work on other things in your business, um, you know, to help your business um, grow. So yeah, that's one thing that I would say, um, just try to find as much help as you can, try to find as much professional help as you can. If you can afford it, if you can't afford it, like I said, you can ask a friend to help you cold call or a family member. Um, and then, you know, focus on things that you can do in your area, being boots on the ground, you know, bandit signs, focus on, um, you know, knocking on people's doors, going to your local meetups, you know, focus on networking is what gotcha. I would say. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, great. So Kaylin, let's wrap this up. Um, for those that want to connect with you, you know, for those who want to connect JV, work with you or whatever that maybe gets some helps or tips, exchange ideas, how can they hook up with you? Um, my email is K investments, K A Y I N V E S E S M E N T S dot co C O at gmail.com. Um, and you can email me there, um, or you can find me on, um, your Instagram and just hit me up on Instagram. It's been a lot of people hitting me up on Instagram. So that's cool. I'm pretty, I'm really friendly. Um, I give everybody a call if I get their numbers and share my story with them. So yeah, I'm, I'm up for JVs. I'm up for working with people. Awesome. And you guys, um, I'll make sure I put, um, Kaylin information in the description so you guys can go and connect with the network, reach out, chat, exchange ideas and all of that. Kaylin, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for taking your time to jump on and to do this. So, and I want to say thank that you're awesome. Thank you. No problem. And <laughs> I thought I thought that uh, you wanted to say something, so I have to stop. It's okay. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you um, reaching out, and I appreciate you dropping all the dope content and knowledge on your YouTube and on your Instagram. You're really an inspiration. Thanks. Really. And you, thanks, Kaylin. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the kind word. And you guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, if you do like this interview, please show Kaylin some love. Smash the thumbs up. You guys want to connect with her. Link is in the descriptions. Also, too, if you guys have any question on this deal, I know this deal is a little um, confusing. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's definitely unique. She got an email. It's like a JV it's deal. Like luck. Um, yeah. What's that? Yeah. I said it's like luck, just a JV deal. <laughs> it's a JV deal. So you guys have any questions, drop it in the comment and uh, we'll see if we can get it answered. So thanks you guys for your time. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay. Bye, Kaylin. Thank you. Bye.